Welcome to this Quack Fish Films production. Today we are doing our first end of season dive in Vobster. The weather has been a bit unkind. We had planned to dive sponge but it was blown out. Hence, we're at Vobster. Today's film really isn't about Vobster. It's about my dive buddy partnership with Les Sullivan and a bit more about Les and his diving longevity. When added together, we have both been diving over 100 years. Myself is now 44 years and for sure Les is over 56 years although he's a little cagey about just how long. Not that that really matters at all. Leslie's first dive was in the infancy of scuba diving in the world, never mind the UK. Inspired by Hans and Lottie Haas and Jacques Cousteau. Joining a local London BZAC branch and doing his very first open water dive in Cornwall, UK, from the beach at Kenyak Sands. Diving equipment has changed dramatically. In the intervening years, it was all black, twin hose regulators, small air tanks, suits you made yourself, and of course, no life jackets. They used to sell a diving t-shirt many years ago. It said on the front, I started diving when sex was safe and diving was dangerous. In both our cases, this was so true. Our diving together started almost by accident. I moved south with work back in the 1990s and placed an advert in the Subaqua Association's magazine called Subaqua Scene. I was looking for a dive buddy and Les replied. We joined forces with myself and my son Ben Howells and we have spent the last 30 odd years diving together in the UK and abroad. Les has progressed from film cameras to now digital, even a little film on occasions. His enthusiasm has not diminished over the years. He is often enthralled by what he sees, and he is all too willing to share what he sees with you, underwater and after. He's such a great buddy to be with.
looking back, the same issues we had now were there then. They were dealt with in a very different way. No dive computers, a watch, rudimentary depth gauge and a plastic decompression table, square profile dives with no safety stops, staying out six hours between dives and of course following the smallest bubble up. Some of you will know what that means. Others will have no idea whatsoever. No nitrox and mixed gases then, just air, which Les still uses today. In his younger days, Les was an instructor at Port Curris in Cornwall, France and in Corfu. I was with Les at Kimmery, diving from my own boat years ago now, when a chap walked up and asked Les if he was Les Sullivan, he replied yes. This guy almost put his arms round him and gave him a kiss. He then related the story of learning to dive in Corfu with Les and thanked him for all the years of diving he had had. Les was so pleased to have helped him along his diving journey. sense of humour. The day of this photograph we were supposed to be diving but the snow stopped us in our tracks. He donned his gear wistfully and sent me this picture. By God we did laugh. All these years on, Les's passion is making images and sharing them with everyone. He's as passionate today about diving as he was when he was a young man.
years of diving, I count myself very lucky that Les decided to reply to the advert in Subaqua Sea. We have shared many great experiences together, above and below the water. many more years of diving together out in front of us, discovering and sharing things no matter how small or large or significant the last 30 years have been a pure pleasure. this dive. So here we are doing our safety stops. It's been great to have you with us and thanks for your company. <laughs>